And Mary Scovo served as the Inspector General at the U.S. Department of Transportation, an attorney who represents families of airline crash victims and is current litigation pending against Boeing. All that said, um, the IG, the Inspector General, is now being given the job. The job you had is now being given to look into Boeing and exactly what happened. What do you make of the changes they've announced today? Well, I think the changes they've announced today are too little too late, unfortunately, for the reputation of the FAA, which was damaged years ago. And Boeing, I think people are going to be highly suspect. Now, my old office, the Office of Inspector General, can do the job, and they can do the job because they're also paired up with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, and they have, uh, as such, they have subpoena power. They actually have search warrant and undercover power if they're paired up with the FBI. But I think the other statements of the hearing really gave away the sort of the overarching feeling at the Department of Transportation, the FAA, when others at that hearing testified that they thought that U.S. pilots could fly the planes and others couldn't. Well, that's already been belied by the evidence and that there's really nothing wrong with the plane, but they're making it better and that, you know, they'll be concerned about allegations of coziness, but safety's number one. This problem has been going on at the FAA for 25 years. I reported on it back when I was IG and even before that. So I'm concerned about the lip service, but I do think that the FBI and my old office, the Office of Inspector General, will get to the bottom of it. If we look at the changes, uh, the idea of making it so that MCAS only activates once, so that it takes information from both sensors and won't uh, activate unless there's, if, if there's a disagreement. And the idea that forces, the, the MCAS will never push a plane nose down more than a pilot can pull it back up again. It is extraordinary that these were not considered first, that the actual plane was designed particularly, for example, only to take information from one sensor. Exactly, Richard. I mean, this this is stunning. I mean, so much of this information for people who pay lip service and say safety is our number one concern. These are basic notions of aviation safety, redundancy. You don't have just one angle of attack indicator feeding the data and after one or two inputs dooming the plane. I mean, it just goes so against the decades of aviation safety development that it truly is shocking. And I have worked other crashes where there was a, a full runaway trim, what they call full nose down trim. The trim was trimmed all the way nose down. It is humanly impossible for human beings to pull that plane back up. So this was an astonishing weakness in the plane. And I think Boeing said it right. They said it's a patch. It was a software patch when it was put in to make up for a center of gravity problems with this new model plane. And I think that the investigation has to go all the way back to the certification of why the software program MCAS was necessary, not just how to fix the MCAS uh, software. Hey, we do need to leave it there. We have so much to talk about tonight. You and I will talk about this in the future of that, I'm sure. Thank you, as always.